Religious and civil society groups in Isilo County have formed a joint command center to coordinate response to election-related conflict. The group is seeking to work with security personnel in the area to ensure peace prevails among pastoral communities living in the region as well as curb security cases during the electioneering period. According to stakeholders, the formation of the Joint Command Center is a countermeasure to alleged balkanization of the region by the political class. To Gishkana, is a lawyer to Licha Akua Katika Autosport, Kitaifa, to na Minia Kwamba, Judy, it's a Changia Kuleta Mani, Wakato Chagusi, Nabanda Chagusi. Is where we, we, we are going to have officers manning uh, this desk to ensure that reporting emanating from uh, the community are well received, documented, and uh, the appropriate action uh, or response taken against them. The region is said to have in the past few years witnessed frequent conflicts among communities due to cattle rustling and scarce resources. Isiolo County Police Commander Hassan Barua, who led a joint meeting at the facility, indicated that cases of gender-based violence will be closely monitored. Barua, however, urged the stakeholders and members of the public to relay information to senior officers for effective response. Information on a peana for station commander, ama kwa inspector yoyote ya police. Nina kuambia ya kwamba ukipeana information kwa hiyo watu, hiyo information haiwezi link ata kidogo. Kwa sababu ni watu wamefunzwa jinsi ya kuweka siri. And in Kisi, the Interreligious Council has warned politicians against using inflammatory utterances during campaigns as the country gears towards elections. Tunawaomba wakati wa kutafuta kura zenu tafadhali, muspatie vijana wetu, muspatie wazee wetu vileo, kana kwamba hawana muelekeo. Wa mama tumebeba watoto wetu na tunajua uchungu wa kumpoteza mtoto. Usiwe ndugu yangu au dada yangu uwe unaleta uhasama kati ya watu kwa sababu ya kutafuta uongozi sababu kama umeshaandikwa na Allah utakuwa ni mwenye kupata similar sentiments have been made by various clerics across the country saying the government must facilitate a seamless transition of governments for the well-being of Kenyans we just came from a difficult period of covid where the economy was completely shattered and we would not want a chaos again to come and affect our economy so we would want to wish all the politicians and people contesting to do it in a peaceful manner at the same time, the religious leaders want the government to adopt quick interventions in dealing with the harsh economic times. Kamchemenza for Lunchtime News.